whenever we heat something then there is a effect on its resistance on its conductivity so either the current will increase or current will decrease then what is the effect of temperature that means when we heat it what happens with the different type of material is different so we will study for all the things which are carrying current what is the effect when we increase their temperature so with increase of temperature in we have different categories here metals non metals insulator semiconductor gases in everything we will study one by one so first we are going to study what happens to the metals when we increase the temperature okay in metals when we increase the temperature the resistivity increase resistivity increase if resistivity increase of course the resistance increase because resistance is resistivity into l upon a okay now result you will remember then what is the reason for this reason for this is when we increase the temperature then the atoms inside the positive charged inside they with increase of temperature their motion this motion goes on increasing their speed increases so earlier they were moving in with this velocity now when we have increased the temperature they will move with this velocity if this happens their velocity increase how does it make the current effective answer is if an electron is going from here on the way it will strike this one it will strike this two and it will reach here but if the motion is very uh, very much increased then there are chances that this will come and hit the electron here again electron goes this will come and hit the electrons here this will come and hit the electrons here so earlier it was going from this place to place with 10 collisions but when we increase uh, the temperature the motion in this positive ions or the positive atoms become so large their vibrations become so large that in place of 10 collision now it has to undergo 50 collisions on the way when it is going from this place to this place so if number of collisions have increased then a position every time it has to stop again start velocity from zero stop again start velocity from zero so its its velocity do not build up if velocity do not build up drift velocity decrease then current will also decrease and if the current decrease then v upon i that is resistance this will increase so on the path a position increases with temperature therefore resistance increase and in uh, one sentence we can write because collisions increase the reason is collisions increase okay now second thing we see in uh, alloys okay uh, this uh, we will discuss this uh, uh, in completion resistivity increase because of the collision increase now this increase in resistance this is a physical quantity and this can be measured again how it is measured for this we have found a unit quantity what is that unit quantity we will take this conductor which has got resistance equal to 1 ohm increase its temperature delta t change in temperature by 1 degree kelvin or 1 degree celsius that is increase its temperature then its resistance will increase that increase in resistance increase in resistance that will be taken as alpha and this will be known as coefficient temperature coefficient of resistance temperature coefficient of 
resistance who is increasing resistance because of what temperature so we will call it temperature coefficient of resistance so what is temperature coefficient of resistance alpha when a conductor having resistance 1 ohm is increasing its temperature by 1 degree celsius then change in the resistance or increase in the resistance is known as its temperature coefficient of resistance very simple uh, formula and with this definition we can uh, formulate one or two relations what happens to the resistance when we increase the temperature suppose with 1 degree increase 1 degree increase the resistance increase resistance increase is alpha then with delta t temperature increase the resistance increase is alpha into t alpha into delta t okay 1 degree alpha delta t degree increased alpha t how much is this resistance originally 1 ohm now again we set another if 1 ohm is increasing by alpha into delta t then the original if it is r not 1 ohm if it is r then r ohm is increasing by how much r multiplied by alpha by delta t that means if there is a resistance of r ohm we increase the temperature by delta t how much will be the increase in temperature r into alpha into delta t this is increase in temperature if this is increase in temperature then sorry this is increase in resistance see again 1 degree resistance increase alpha delta t degree alpha into delta t is the increase in resistance now this resistance increase it in 1 ohm so in r ohm the res increase in the resistance is this how much is total or the new resistance at temperature t answer this is original temperature r plus increase r into alpha into delta t original and original we can write r o r o okay so simplify this this will be temperature t the resistance at temperature t is original resistance to be multiplied by take this common 1 plus alpha into t this delta t represents what increase in temperature so this is our one formula with help of this formula you can find out any formula suppose you, you want to find out this alpha then what will be this alpha alpha is equal to r minus r0 rt minus r0 divided by r0 rt minus r0 divided by r0 r0 into alpha t okay this is formula for alpha so once you know the understand the basic concept you can make the formula for new resistance you can make the formula for alpha you can make the formula for delta t that is r t minus r 0 divided by r 0 into alpha that is rise in temperature so in this way uh, you can create anything from a single relation so this is coefficient of this is temperature coefficient of resistance more is the temperature coefficient more will be the change in resistance and how do we know resistance has changed we will know it by current because resistance is given to us by v upon i or i is given to us by v upon r so 
if resistance increase what will happen to current current will decrease so this way uh, we can find out that resistance is increasing it will show decrease in the current so this is what happens in metals now next we will study what happens in alloys alloys are what combination of metals so what happens in alloys and you will find very strange thing is happening in alloy that we will do in the next lecture.